Welcome to Sunday School for July 4th, 2021. I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is an attitude of gratitude. The Bible basis is found in Leviticus chapter 13, verses 45 to 46, and Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. The Bible truth says of the 10 lepers that Jesus heals, only one returns to thank him. The memory verse says, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. From Luke chapter 17, verse 15. The lesson aim says, by the end of this lesson, we will explore reasons only one of 10 healed lepers turn back to Jesus in thanksgiving. Since the need in our lives for increased expressions of gratitude to God and develop a plan for showing thanksgiving to God and others on a daily basis. The lesson overview. Life need for today's lesson. People often receive mercy, but do not acknowledge the one who helped them. Do you show appreciation? 10 lepers isolated by their skin diseases were healed, but only one who was a foreigner was saved by his faith and offered thanks. The Bible learning says, Jesus showed no reservation regarding his proximity to the ceremonially unclean men. The Bible application says, Christians express gratitude. Students responses, Believers seek God's presence to restore them. Our lesson scripture, beginning at Leviticus chapter 13, verse 45. And the leper in whom the plague is, his clothes shall be rent and his head bare. And he shall put a covering upon his upper lip and shall cry, unclean, unclean. All the days wherein the plague shall be in him, he shall be defiled. He is unclean. He shall dwell alone, without the camp shall his habitation be. Luke chapter 17, beginning at verse 11. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Mercy means to show compassion or pity, to help the afflicted. Give thanks means to show gratitude, at times specifically through prayer. Light on the word. Priest. Descendants from the tribe of Levi, priest duties include representing the people before God, caring for the temple, teaching God's laws, and administering the Jewish sacrifices and services outlined in the Mosaic law. Only they could declare a diseased person clean. Leper. Someone who contracted the disease of leprosy was called a leper. Leprosy in the Bible could refer to any number of contagious skin diseases. The diseased person was quarantined and cut off from the rest of society. The leper was considered unclean according to Jewish law. Whenever the leper approached a person, the leper was required to yell, unclean, unclean. As a result, the leper was isolated socially and spiritually and treated as an outcast. Life need for today's lesson. Students will examine Jesus' compassion and power. The introduction says, healing touch. 
The lepers in this scripture are not the same as in Jesus' previous encounter with the leper. In Luke chapter 5, the leper lives in the city, indicating that he was not the same as most lepers who had to live outside the city. Luke does not tell us why he's treated differently. Jesus not only talks to that leper, but he also touches and heals him. In this account, the healing of lepers is different than Jesus' previous healing of lepers. It did not require his touch. He only commanded them to show themselves to the priest. This type of healing can be classified as a word of command and is very common in the gospel narratives. When Jesus touched the previous leper, the focus or theme was his compassion. Here as Jesus speaks, his power is on display. The aim says students will explore the plight of the leper. Living as a leper, life for a leper in ancient times was extraordinarily unpleasant. First, the disease caused a loss of the sense of touch, along with welts, sores, skin discoloration, and loss of limbs. The toll on the body was significant. Leprosy described in the Bible does not always look like the disease of leprosy today. In ancient times, leprosy covered a broader range of skin diseases. Second, there was the isolation to keep from spreading the disease. Lepers lived outside the city until their health improved. However, their health usually deteriorated, and for the rest of their lives, they were exiled from society. Third, if lepers needed to interact with healthy people, they had to make their condition known to any passerby. They shouted so that everyone would stay away. Their clothes, hair, and face made their disease evident. Light on the word, spiritually unclean. The ancient Israelites did not see these steps as precautions against spreading germs. They saw these steps as the way to prevent becoming unclean or defiled. From the Hebrew word tame, the word is quite common in the Old Testament and refers to impurity, whether sexual, religious, or ceremonial. Even though sickness is not the sign of moral failing, it does serve as a reminder that there is sin, death, and decay in this world. Those contaminated with that decay are not fit to come before God, because our living God is holy. There is no death in him, nor can death exist in his presence. Ten lepers ask for healing. Jesus encounters ten lepers when he enters a village. They keep their distance because leprosy was contagious. One of the ten lepers, a Samaritan, lived among the group. Ordinary Jews refused to settle in the same area inhabited by Samaritans. However, the lepers who were isolated from the general population bonded with each other, ignoring cultural lines of separation. They cry out to Jesus, addressing him as master. This title indicates he had authority as a thought leader, rabbi, and teacher. They ask him to have mercy, to extend his compassion and alleviate their misery. They acknowledge Jesus as a worker of miracles, one who had a history of healing incurable diseases. Light on the word. Just six words. Do we have to pray long prayers to get the Lord's attention? Must we use a lot of words to plead our case with him? The lepers cried out an urgent six word prayer. Jesus, master, have mercy on us. Jesus' six word answer changed their lives. Go show yourselves unto the priest. One leper returns. Jesus instructs the lepers to go to the priest, the only authority who can pronounce them clean and permit them to re-enter their communities. In essence, they are instructed to follow the process. 
The priest will examine them and perform a ceremonial cleansing called the law of the leper. All 10 men walk toward the temple to find the priest, demonstrating extreme faith. These lepers acted on Jesus' word. As they make their way down the road, they realize the leprosy is gone. Light on the word. Nine lepers. The nine Jewish lepers were symbolic of the Jewish nation that rejected the Messiah. Perhaps they were intent on following the law and getting to the priest. Perhaps they were ungrateful, failing to express appreciation to Christ the healer. The one leper who returned was a Samaritan who represented the Gentile nations that would later receive Christ's message. Although the nine were healed, the one who returned was made well, which implies inner healing or salvation in addition to physical healing. The Bible application says, students will be sensitive to those who are physically challenged. Many are treated as outcasts because of a physical challenge beyond their control. We know Jesus lovingly ministered to people on the outskirts of society. We too should minister to the needs of those who long for acceptance. What is one action we can take to help alleviate the suffering of someone who is physically challenged? Students' responses. The AIM says students will express their gratitude to God. It's easier to complain than to be grateful. Busy schedules, aggravating situations, isolation, anger, and stress demand that we make every effort to focus on the good and have attitudes of gratitude. The complaining commentaries of the media stir up discontent. Such negativity distorts reality and ignores God's blessings. Psalm 100 verses 4 and 5. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Sometime this week, make up a prayer, song, poem, praise, dance, or something creative based on these verses and the lesson. Share it with a member of your family, friend, or coworker. When you start complaining, thank them for reminding you to be grateful. Dig a little deeper. Praise is one of the best ways to say thank you to our Lord. Singers and songwriters throughout the ages write and record their music to help us express our appreciation to God for his goodness. Scriptures on thanking God. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalms 136 verse 26 says, O oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Psalm 106, verses 1 and 2. Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? Psalms 103, verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul and forget not all his benefits. Philippians chapter four, beginning at verse four. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. 
And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Scriptures about healing. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14 says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion whom no man seeketh after. Psalms 147 verse 3 says, He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. James chapter 5, beginning at verse 14. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Jeremiah 33 verse 6 says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Psalm 146 verse 8 the Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. Psalms 30, verse 2. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Psalms 107 verses 19 through 21 says, Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Exodus chapter 23 Verse 25 says, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 22. Return ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Behold, we come unto thee. For thou art the Lord our God. Isaiah 53, beginning at verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Third John chapter 2 Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Acts 
Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Mark chapter 10, verse 52. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Psalm 73, verse 26. My flesh and my heart falleth, faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 103, beginning at verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness in judgment for all that are oppressed. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, beginning at verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Second Kings chapter 20, verse 5. Turn again and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. On the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. Isaiah 40, verse 29. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increases strength. Matthew chapter 9, verse 35. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Psalm 91, beginning at verse 15. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Luke chapter 6, verse 19 says, And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him and healed them all. Mark chapter 5, verse 34. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Isaiah 
Isaiah 57, beginning at verse 18. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comfort unto him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him that is far off and to him that is near, saith the Lord, and I will heal him. Isaiah 38, verse 17. Behold, for peace I had great bitterness, but thou hast in love, but thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption, for thou hast cast all my sins behind my back. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Psalm 6 verse 2 says, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak, O Lord. Heal me, for my bones are vexed. Psalm 119, verse 50. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. Matthew chapter 9, beginning at verse 11. Beginning at verse 10. And it came to pass as Jesus sat at meat in the house, Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. 1 John chapter 5, beginning at verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Mark chapter 16, beginning at verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. God, we thank you for this lesson in the name of Jesus. We know you as our healer, our sustainer, our life giver in the name of Jesus. We thank you for everything that you're doing. Let your word be received into good ground, Father, good soil. In the name of Jesus, one plants, one waters, and God, you give the increase. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the blessings that are coming forth right now. Thank you for healing those. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare your healing because the God's word says, In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. And they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. God, we thank you for healing coming forth in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the prayer of faith that will save the sick in the name of Jesus. And those that have committed sins, you will forgive them, Father. In the name of Jesus, as also we all do confess our sins, God. And we know that you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. 
God bless you and thank you for joining me today.